Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this new tutorial where I'm going to be talking about uh, applying V-Ray Fur in an effective way on any kind of model. I'm going to be using one of the toys that I have designed recently, which looks like a bird or a pigeon. And then because of the way I applied the fur to it, it, uh, it kind of gave it like a sheep kind of uh, look and feel, which was pretty cool. So I had a lot, of, a lot of people ask me how I created that fur and how I, how I was able to make it look like wool. Uh, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to walk you through in this tutorial. So if I open up my scene, and just a heads up, uh, this, is, uh, this tutorial is like four times faster than what it actually is. So uh, I'm going to be talking over the different steps as you see the faster version of the, of the video. So, uh, opening up the model, you can see my toy here, it's in low poly, and what we want to focus on now is the actual body, because that's where we want to apply the fur, right? So, uh, to start off with, I always go and apply a checkered kind of material, because that's going to help me understand if my maps are correct, and my UVs are correct on my model, which uh, obviously it's not going to be, unless I start to unwrap it. So, I'm going to... I'm going to go to the unwrap uh, uh, modifier and the modifier list and I'm going to start to uh, look at the best way that I can unwrap this model. And those of you who are not familiar with unwrap, unwrap is basically if you have a 3D object, how can you turn it into a 2D object? So it would really make a difference in terms of how you would cut your piece up and in terms of... Uh, and in terms of uh, how, like, how much do you cut your piece up? So, if it's if you don't cut it up much, you're gonna have a much better and cleaner looking model. So, what I'm doing here is I'm basically just cutting out the like the legs, the eyes, the different areas that I don't need on this body, and then I'm trying to split this uh, model in half, and I'm also applying different cuts or actually one cut to each of the wings on the body. And sometimes it's just a trial and error process. So you have to you have to see what works best and what looks the cleanest and where your seams are. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter, but sometimes the seams, uh, you want to hide them like in the back or somewhere where you can't see them. So anyways, uh, I'm done with my unwrap here. I'm going to lower my uh, the scale of my checkered materials. You can see it's a bit messed up in the back. So... I've downloaded a pretty cool uh, modifier called Unwrap Pro, and you can see how, how that just cleaned the, the back part up without me even having to cut anything up. So I'm going to go into my Unwrap. I'm going to open my UV editor. I'm going to start to align things where they're, they're supposed to be just so that everything is in place once I apply my textures and materials later on. Uh, the model looks pretty clean, pretty nice. Uh, the boxes, the squares are pretty even. All right, so once I'm happy with my uh, UVs and all the squares are looking even, uh, the checkered map looks pretty even on the model. I know that I have a, a pretty good and solid UV. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply a turbo smooth, make sure my model is uh, pretty smooth. And we actually want it to have a good amount of uh, geometry and that's because of the next step that we're going to do. All right, next we're going to be applying the Displace modifier. And the Displace modifier is going to be a very important part in terms of getting that uh, wool kind of shape at the end. So for the map, I'm going to set a dent map, uh, which is already pre-built in 3D Max. And when you use Displace, always make sure you use uh, existing uh, map that's going to allow you to use the unwrap that we just built and it's going to build it off that unwrap. And then play with the different values, the strength, and uh, see what works best on your model and your character because every character is different and the scale is different. So once you're happy with something like similar to what I have, uh, apply another Turbo Smooth, make sure it's, smooth, it's smoothed out. And now we're going to apply color. So when we apply color now, it's going to look really nice because We've unwrapped it, and the colors are not gonna, uh, they're gonna tie really well. And the cool thing about this is that the color is going to apply to both the fur and to the model. Next step, we're going to use V-Ray Fur. 
so select your model and choose vRefer. And again, this is a this is a step where I would invite you to just play with the values, play with the different length, uh, with the different thickness. I went with a really really low thickness because the lower I think is just going to make it look more realistic. Uh, playing with the curl is going to really give you that wool kind of shape and look. And to get something that can curl uh, and be super smooth, you also need a high value on the knots. So so play with that and look at the different kind of uh, uh, lengths and thicknesses and the different settings that you have and start playing with it. So for the first uh, render, let's try out this material that I have here. I'm going to apply it to the fur and to the model itself. And this is this is what I actually had in the beginning of the tutorial, and this is what I've posted on my website. And you'll see that you might need to adjust some stuff, like the beak here it starts to get lost in the middle of the wool because uh, we're not rendering the the character on its own anymore. There's some stuff that's going to cover it, which is the fur. So adjust it and look at different uh, things that need to be moved and placed correctly according to the fur that you have. All right, this looks much better now. Uh, so so let's uh, look at different materials and textures that we can start to use. And for this, I'm just going to go on Pinterest. I'm going to search for colored graphics, for example, anything uh, random that's colorful and nice. Uh, We'll make it quick, but I mean, this is honestly the most fun part of this process. So, I mean, we can go with, we'll select a few and then we'll try them out. So I like the colors on this one. It's pretty nice. Maybe some line graphics. And Pinterest is really cool because it's not just the image that you search for, but it's also the the other uh, images that is going to give you the options. So we have a few options right now. So let's uh, let's try them out and see what they start to look like. So apply it, start to play with the offset, uh, map it out. I think this is more colorful. It's going to be a bit nicer. Map it out the way you the way you see that is going to look the coolest. And while that's rendering, I'm just going to search for a few more images. I just have an idea in my mind. Uh, let's see how it's going to look. Yeah, something like this. All right. So let's try another map. And uh, this is the one we were rendering. Again, looks super cool. Uh, it feels like it has a patch on its eye. It's colorful. And it's super easy. Like now the color applies to both the fur and to the model and you can have gradients it's it can fade off it can it's really cool it's very realistic all right this is uh, the third one that we're going to try now uh, black and white uh i think this is going to start to look cool i haven't tried this before all right yep so again uh, it corresponds really well to the graphic that we have and i'm going to just start to place them uh, next to each other and we'll try this one third one again something super colorful and patchy and you can see that it gives us the the same kind of uh, look and feel that we're after and that's pretty much it uh, I mean I hope you learned something in this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments and if you'd like to to see more of these tutorials or if you'd like to if you'd like me to cover something specific i'd be more than happy to and yeah have fun with it and show me what you come up with uh, take care until next time <laughs>